I know these bitches really don't like me. Hey man, hey, hey, go, hey, go. somebody get him a tissue. Yeah, I heard I got a hate and hoe upset. The way I'm shining, see my diamonds got invisible set. They see me climbing to the top. Welcome to my channel, it's your girl Reality Canteen, and I'm back here with another video. So, <clears throat> as you guys can tell from the title, of this video will be me talking about my one month being in Dallas. So, time has flown by. It does not feel like it's been a month already. At all. I moved here April 7th, 2022, and it is May 7th, 2022. It's May 7th. Um, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. I just went and got me a big gopi, and I was like, mm. I don't know. I just, I just call them big gulps because. The only place I really saw these was down here in Texas. I don't really see this nowhere else. Or they just don't taste, they don't taste that good. They taste better down here. And it's a slushy, but the cups say a gopi. It's been a month. Um, I'd say things haven't gone the way I thought things would go with me moving here. I actually had a list. I actually came here without a car and I was my plan was to get a car and in my notebook I write everything in this notebook and I actually had a list and it was like days and deadlines and timelines that I wanted to have stuff done. The so six months to do so six months from April 7th so which will be October is to have all this done. Well, April 7th, I flew to Dallas. April 3rd, no, by April 30th, my goal was to have a car, but things didn't go as planned. Like, I still don't have a job yet, so therefore I don't wanna go put all my eggs in one basket and get a car and then, you know, so. But I have, actually, let me take that back. I do have a job. Okay, let me rephrase that, so. I did end up getting a job at this call center, but it's like $21 to get there and $21 to come back. And that's only if you pre-booked like the Lyft or the Uber the day before. And I didn't know that. So I woke up in the morning, got dressed and everything was ready to go to work. And Lyft was like $45 one way. And I'm like, mm -mm, that's like, that's my budget for the day. $40 a day in Uber and Lyft, not just one way though. Yeah, I was like, it's just, wasn't in the budget at all. So that day I didn't end up going, which meant I kind of lost that job, kind of. We didn't really lose it, I just never showed up. But I did contact the employer, never heard back from them, um, which I was kind of excited about that job. I didn't like the pay, but I also never worked in a call center slash office job, so I was kind of excited. Um, fast forward, I'll say I got that job within a week of being here, a week or two weeks of being in Dallas. I think two weeks. I think, I think, okay, so what I think happened was I came here on the 7th, that whole week I didn't, and I think it was two weeks, I can't remember, but, um last week so not last week but the week before last I on Friday I got actually Thursday I applied I was like I'm getting a job next week I'm starting work next week like I got to you know I gotta get you know this June July all that rent coming up because May was already taken care of so it was like Target so I applied to like so many different jobs I really want to work at CVS because CVS is in walking distance like it only takes three minutes to get there well I'll say it only takes seven minutes to get there but you can get there in two depending on how fast you want to get there hell you can even get there in one minute depending on how fast you want to get there I'm talking about walking that's how close it is so I, that's what I love about staying like downtown area kind of but because er, everything is so close so I applied there but I guess my application went to a different location 
and I was still going to go to that location and see what could he do to get my application switched to this one because that automatically means I get to save money and I don't have to pay for Uber or Lyft. The only time I pay for Uber or Lyft is when it's raining. That's it. The day I was supposed to go there, which was this past Wednesday, which was the, it was May, May 4th, I was supposed to go there. And, okay, actually, we gotta rewind back to, I gotta finish the whole tart. Okay, CVS was, then tart, okay, so CVS. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm all over the place. So CVS, so basically, um, I couldn't go because I woke up in the morning and it was a bad thunderstorm, it was so bad. And then I was like, okay, whatever, it was bad, I woke up was scared like i thought the building was about to collapse like and another youtuber i know who lived in dallas i was watching their video and he said the same thing he was like i thought the window was about to bless bus or whatever and i was like well she and i was like yep so it was not just me um it was bad so went back to sleep responded to some text messages went back to sleep i woke up at 8 a.m when I woke up, I could not remember my phone password for anything. Like, I'm like literally putting it in and it's not working. I'm like, I'm putting it in and it's just not working. So I'm trying to fit in, you know, like after so long, it don't even let you do face ID. I'm like trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. End up locking myself out of my phone. I said five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour. I'm like, bro, what the heck? Like, I gotta meet this guy at three o'clock and I can't get into my phone. So I'm like, I'm so glad I got a MacBook. I'm over here trying to figure out how to hook it up. Apple discontinued iTunes or something like that. So the old way we would get into it wasn't working. I didn't get into my phone until like 4.55 o'clock. I didn't get into my phone. That's because my aunt's boyfriend helped me out virtually through my, I was FaceTiming him through my laptop and they was able to help me. But I didn't get into my phone. Missed the interview, no call, no show. It's like, man. This is going to ruin it for all the CVSs. So, put in another application to the one right there, right by my house. And she called me this morning. So, I put this application in maybe, okay, this happened Wednesday. I put this application in Thursday. And she called me today, which was Friday morning. And she was basically like, um... But I missed it. I missed the call because I was asleep. So I called her back and she was like, can you come in Wednesday? And I'm going to be like, man, I could come there today. Like, I could come do an interview today. Like, come on. She's like, can you come Wednesday? I'm like, yeah, okay, I can come Wednesday. So my goal is I really wanted three jobs. I wanted one to pay my bills, one because I want to get my body done, and then one um, to save for a car. So... I had nothing else, to do, nothing else to do anyway, especially not one. So my first week being in Dallas, my friend sent me this work at home job, and I applied there. They didn't have nothing available. The next week, they called me. No, they emailed me. I they emailed me on a Monday. I didn't get the email till Tuesday night. So then I they gave me the number to call. So I called it. It was like 12 a.m. Tuesday night is when I checked my emails. So when, first thing, 8 a.m. Wednesday morning, like at 8.03, I called them. And they were like, oh, yeah, we filled that position yesterday. I'm like, dang it. So I missed out on that job. When I was a work at home job, that would have been nice. So, okay, now, so I applied to a lot of jobs, though. But it's really hard to get a job when you don't have a car. Because, like, all the good-paying jobs aren't, like, nearby. So, it's really hard like i really want to go work at ups but it's 45 dollars just to get there and that's not even during rush hour or when it's busy that's just like right now it's 45 dollars to get there so like yeah so well i'll be working against myself with that so okay target so i applied to target target called me uh they well i did a video interview and the lady called me she was like hey i looked over your video interview um we would like to offer you a job offer i'm like okay great she's like okay if your background and everything comes back she's like here's the pay rate in our if your background and everything comes back um then you'll attend orientation on tuesday uh it's for overnights because i i'm a third shifter y'all like i gotta work nights so 
yeah so that happened and then basically um i went to the orientation on tuesday i was so excited and i went there and like when i lived in indiana my birth certificate on my phone has always worked like i've always been able to use my birth certificate on my phone but in texas is different which i figured because it's so close to the border they gotta make sure you could like legally work so i figured it'll be busy but i mean it'll be difficult but so that's the only reason why i can't start there so technically i do have a job i just cannot start until they get my birth certificate not my birth certificate my social security card so but there were other things on the list that um you could have so i'm about to look and see if i have any of those other things because i put in a copy for a replacement of my birth certificate but i just don't see it coming in before tuesday i see it like i honestly don't think it'll be here this tuesday it might be here wednesday thursday friday but i don't even think so i think it'll be here the next week like in between wednesday and friday so that's two weeks i done missed but there's a they sent me an email i gotta try to find the email with the list of things to see if i have anything on that list which i don't think i do which i'll look later but so that's what happened with my job search um if i had a vehicle i would have had a job a long time ago i would have had a job within my first week of being here but not having a vehicle makes it extremely extremely difficult and i wish i don't regret anything that i did let's not get that twisted because i know a lot of y'all mother suckers out there really want to say oh i told it no i don't regret anything but i do wish that i had a vehicle um because it would have made it easier um and sometimes it gets depressing because i'm in the house all the time um i have not been out simply because like i've had people ask me hey let's go out or whatever and I, I hate that I had to turn them down, but I turned them down because I told myself that I'm not going to go out, I'm not going to go party, I'm not going to go club, and I'm not doing none of that until I get my house in order. And like, what I mean by that is when my house is fully furnished, or I don't care, it has to be fully furnished. Once my house is fully furnished and I have a vehicle, then we can talk about doing stuff because it's like okay i go out and i spend like 115 on food drinks and hookah that 115 could have been going towards my like my balcony set that i want or that 115 could have went towards my couch or my bed like i still don't have a bed yet so thanks to everyone for helping me do that but um only reason i haven't furnished the rest of my apartment yet is because I don't want to spend the, my saving money that I have. Like, I don't want to do that. So, that's the only reason why I haven't, like, bought a bed yet, bought a couch yet. And then, two, the bed situation is really difficult because I don't, my room is smaller than, like, y'all saw in the video how small my room was. If you haven't, go look, pause right here. I'll wait. I'm still waiting to watch that video. Okay, you back. So. y'all saw how small the room is so basically with that room being so small i'm like the bed that i want i'm like i can't get the bed no more so i'm like what kind of bed do i want so i'm trying to think like what do i want what kind of bed do i want to get and stuff and it's kind of hard thinking of it and stuff um yeah so that's what's going on right now once i decide on a bed i don't want to get nothing major i want to get something like really cheap and affordable because i'm only going to be having the bed for this apartment is my goal because i really don't want that bed to begin with i want this other bed so i've been thinking i don't know i've been looking at some youtube videos getting some ideas so i think i'm gonna do um either a white or a pink bed 
not sure still deciding and yeah but that's my little mini update on moving to dallas um i usually take like daily walks and stuff which have been really amazing but it's starting to get hot outside and i'm like ah, i'm not ready for the texas heat oh my gosh but um yeah that's what's been going on i know what i like to think of for right now this video got really long really quick but thank you guys so much for watching this video all right bye guys Way I'm trying to see my diamonds got invisible set. They see me climbing to the top. Now these bitches depressed. They tried to hold their nuts on me, so I stood in their chest. Bitch.